Early this morning, about 80 Oklahoma National Guard members arrived in Moore, and here you see them getting suited up and headed out into a destroyed neighborhood. They're going to assist with search and rescue operations. They also will help establish a perimeter around some of the most devastated areas. We want to go live now to 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn, who is in Moore to bring us the very latest. And Russell, we see it starting to rain again. Yeah, Bertha, bear with us here as the rain has really started to come down within the last 30 seconds or so. We're also seeing some hail here now in Moore, Oklahoma. They said the weather would be severe today. The meteorologists here locally, and certainly we're seeing it now. It's really starting to come down, so bear with us if our signal is in it. Remarkably destructive scenes here in Moore. This is the parking lot just to the east of the medical center, the medical center that you've heard so much about that's been destroyed by this tornado. Well, this is the parking lot, and these are the cars that, for all intents and purposes, were drivable as of yesterday. They were parked in this parking lot, and now this massive tornado has simply turned them into rumpled piles of metal. You can barely even make out the makes and models of these things. We know, of course, that this is a pickup, and we know that it's a Ford simply because of the decal on the quarter panel there. And then check this out. This is a pile of cars thrown over here by the tornado, and then this is the more remarkable thing of this whole scene right here. These are all vehicles, vehicles that were in the medical center parking lot yesterday. Yesterday they were drivable. And now check that out. They're all piled up there against the interstate. That's actually I-35 that you see over there. It is a parking lot today. It's the major thoroughfare from Dallas to Oklahoma City. It's a parking lot because no one is able to get on or off the interstate here through Moore, Oklahoma, because authorities are keeping all the traffic out of Moore except for those who live here and the local media. We have some, uh, and the national media, of course. We have some video to show you from earlier yeah. today of the neighborhood that is just adjacent to our location, just a few blocks from here. It is homes that are damaged, some of them destroyed and uh, wiped off the foundations completely. We also talked to some uh, hardy individuals from down here in Moore, Oklahoma, who are already back uh, cleaning up the debris. Here's what one of them had to say. I rounded that corner from the park and went, holy cow. And uh, we got two cats and a dog. They both made it through. And here we are again, uh, Brad, my photographer, showing you the inside of this vehicle. It looks like it's been here for years. It looks like it's been abandoned. But in fact, this pickup was drivable as of yesterday, as were all of the rest of these cars. That's how destructive this tornado was. And uh, uh, Bertha and Mitch, we just got uh, a downpour here in Moore. It has since lit up during this live shot. And uh, it looks like it won't be as severe as we expected, but we're soaking wet. Um, but thanks for bearing with us. And obviously a remarkable scene down here. We'll have reports for you throughout the day on our mobile app, the 7 News mobile app, as well as the DenverChannel.com. And we'll be back with you at 5 o'clock tonight on 7 News. For now, we're live in Moore, Oklahoma. I'm Russell Haythorn. Back to you guys. All right.